Hi, my name is Philippe Ozil. I'm a developer advocate at Salesforce. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can secure service agent implementations thanks to the out of the box customer verification topic. So for this video, we're going to take a look at the Coral Cloud sample app. And here we are on the customer portal of the Coral Cloud Resort, which is a fictitious seaside resort. Customers can use this portal to book activities. And you can see there's a variety of experiences that the hotel offers. Now they can do this manually or they can use a service agent to help them. Obviously, since this is a, a unauthenticated portal, uh, we have a number of actions that are available and some of them that are not. So for example, here I can take a look at the details of the zipline activity and I can already get a summary. But if I want to do something that requires authentication, like for example, booking this activity, well, I will need to authenticate and to provide some, some proof of identity. Now let's pretend that I'm uh, Sofia Rodriguez, and I have already logged my email in their system. And so if I enter my email here, I'll be given a code uh, through my email address, a one time password that I can use to authenticate to continue the conversation. Once I've done this, I'm considered as verified. And in a second, we'll be able to provide our booking confirmation. And let's go ahead. Let's confirm the booking activity. And yes, we want to confirm our booking. Let's double check that this did work. So I'm going to, I can go back now to my contact record, look at my activities and you can see here, this is our booking. So how did this work? Let's go now to the agent configuration. We are now in agent builder and you can see this is our service agent configuration. There are three topics that we have configured. The first one is the out of the box customer verification. And this one basically holds the key to unlocking the verified customer support. Otherwise, customers only have access to the unverified customer support topic when they're only guests. So let's take a look at this topic here, uh, the verification topic. This one comes out of the box, so I did not have to configure all of this. This is part of the asset library and you can reuse it. It comes with two actions that they can use. Uh, one of them is sending the email with the verification code and the second one verifies the authentication code that is entered by the end user. Both of these actions are flow actions and if we can open them, we're gonna see that you can edit the flow here, but you can also map the actions, so the inputs and outputs of these actions to variables. And here we have a number of variables that are assigned. The two most important ones are the verified variable that comes out of the verify action. This is essentially confirming that the customer has been verified. And the second one is the verified customer ID, which points to the contact record ID of our customer. So by verifying that the authentication code matches and the email address is correct, we get the verified customer ID variable set. Now these variables are configured in agent builder here. Uh, we have a list of variables, the verified and the verified customer ID variables, and we use them to set filters. We have put two filters for our use case. There is, is verified customer and is unverified customer. Filters can then be applied either at the topic or action level. In our case, we have put those filters at the topic levels. For example, the verified customer support topic here has a filter and will only be available when the variable uh, matching the is verified user is set to true. And this means that we are protecting the use of all of these actions here because they're only available to verified customers. Not only can we do that, but we can also go one level deeper. For example, if I take the create booking action here, we also are able to reuse the variables such as verified customer ID to force certain values like the contact ID so we can only book activities for the currently verified customer. That's it in a nutshell. This is how we can secure your service agents and their actions thanks to the out of the box customer verification topic and actions. Thanks for watching. I hope that you liked this video. Make sure to subscribe if you want more content like this. Bye.